Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Steve. I'm a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Amazon. I hit the thrift stores, yard sales, the Google bins, find items at very good price, resell for profit. So this video is just going to be another thrift vlog. Um, I just got back from vacation. Today's Thursday. I usually source Thursday, Friday, Saturdays. So we're going to head out. I'm going to go by the Google bins. Spend about an hour, hour and a half there. You know, I'm going to hit probably just one local thrift. Before we do that, I previously have recorded some shipping, you know, packing and shipping segments that I could throw into videos. So this is from about a month ago. But a lot of new resellers, you know, have trouble with shipping and confusing. So they like to see how things are packed, you know, what they weigh, whether it's first class priority, etc. So I'm going to throw that segment in now and then we're going to head out to the bins. This is just a two pack with a clip, paid 50 cents. Just gonna put it directly into a little six by nine padded envelope. These are very good to have. If you don't have these, these are one of your must haves, unless you sell only big items. But any kind of smalls, you know, even if you sell games, video games, DVDs, they fit perfectly into these. All right, put it on the scale, 2.4. So you make it three ounces, and that'd be first class. Next up, I got this little box of can and ink, but this is also going to go into a little envelope. Throw that on the scale, 2.9, so that's also 3 ounces. Okay, next I got these VHS blank tapes. I want to weigh them. 2 pounds, 10 and a half, so 2.11. Now, I don't know if I want to do a regular priority or a regional rate A. So I have a regional ready box here. I'm just going to sit it on. Brings me at 215, so three pounds. That box, it would be like nine dollars and change. If I went regular priority, you know, whether if I padded them and put them in a Tyvek or just a shoe box or whatever be the case, or even a plain brown box and just went regular priority, it would be like 11 change. All right, for the VHS tapes, I'm just putting one sheet of bubble, folding it half on the bottom. Gonna sit these in, just fill with paper. And I'll use the excess and just fold it over to, to fill the top. All right, the next item going out this morning is this Wustoff knife block. And this sold on Poshmark. Yes, hard goods do sell on Poshmark. Not as frequent, but they do. This is Wustoff is the brand. And what's good about this selling on Poshmark I don't have to worry about because this is kind of heavy. I can just pack it however I want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a shoe box. One crumpled sheet of packing paper on the bottom. Set the block in there. Filled all four sides around it. So I just slid down each four corners. And you can just fold it in. And that's going to shorten up my box. All right, we're in the garage. Found the perfect box. I had an Amazon box. So I'll fit these down lane. They won't fit into my plastic bags, which I like to do. So I put tissue paper, like as if you were doing a present, and I'll just put some over the top and it'll be good to go. All right, first pass through, I found a few things. A pair of EG. Gotta love those, they're always gonna be a quick, good seller. Robert Graham shorts. I know the shirts do well. I gotta come up and see if that's anything. They got about five or six of these brand new rolling briefcase. All right, so not too bad in there. Got a couple pair of jeans, flashlight, a couple other things. I'll show you everything at the end. So, gonna have my banana. A little water, a little refueling, and we're gonna hit the next spot. Probably my favorite thrift store that I do go to in all my rounds. No sale today. They often do like a dollar clothing sale or 50% off the whole store. Usually around like holiday weekends mostly. 
So nothing going on today, but they do do senior citizen discount, and the lady always gives it to me even though I'm not a senior citizen. 33% off, so let's see what goes on. Look at this guy, he's on a motorized, I don't know what the hell it is. Found this randomly on the shelf. I'm gonna buy it and spike my wife's dinner with it. Just kidding, it's got comps in the 20s. Here's something pretty good. Three brand new soap dispensers. Let me see if I can find good comps on them. 10 bucks with my discount, the B-Belt. 650. All right, I found a couple of bags so far. L.O. Bean Corduroy. Has comps in the 20s. It's only three, four dollars. And this Soren, it literally is the same exact build and texture and ballistic nylon as a Tumi. I'm trying to comp it. I never heard of Soren. I might have, but I've never really looked them up. So right now eBay's acting up with comps, but that bag's only three. All right, that was a good haul. Not a lot, but I got some good stuff. So I'm gonna head home. We'll go through everything and I'll show you comps of what I picked up. So we're back home. Let's go through first what I picked up at the bins this morning. I got six items and a couple of hard goods. The first one is this NASCO AED trainer. This is for a defibrillator. There's no cable on it and I didn't know if it worked but if you look at the front it's still got the plastic over the screen and it looked really good so I took a shot. It goes by weight with the clothing that I bought. Altogether, I spent $13, 12 change. So this has comps, not this brand, but defibrillator trainers like this have comps anywhere from like almost 30 bucks up to like $100. Next item up, I just couldn't pass. It's not a real money maker. But it's a little Delta Airlines uses these Tumi bags to give to their passengers. Probably like in certain class to Tumi. And inside it has like a whole bunch of stuff. Like Tumi eye patch so you can sleep. It has coupons if you want to buy a Tumi bag at the store. It's got some toothbrushes and toothpaste. But this bag right here, there's two of them. There's the brand the Labo. And there's two lip balms in this. So I said, let me look that up. And this pack right here with two lip balms sells for like eight to twelve bucks each. So between these two, you know, figured that's like fifteen dollars. And I've sold these little bags before, a different style, but same small one from the airlines, for like eight to ten dollars. I might make like twenty bucks off this bag. Then I got four articles of clothing. The first one is Porsche Design, and it's just a pair of Adidas sweatpants. The trefoil logo on the on the leg. Porsche 911 logo. So it's like an Adidas Porsche collab. Here's a pair of jeans that I always look for. And if you don't know about them, AG, Adriano Goldschmied. They're called The Graduate. Great brand for resale. Um, typically they go in about the $30 range. Now this brand is good in shirts, we all know that. The brand is, I don't know if it's gonna show up, Robert Graham. And these are just like khaki shorts. They look like they have comps in like the 20s. And lastly from the bins, just a pair of Levi's 501, 35 by 34. I always pick up the 501s, they're the button flies. It's one of the more popular lines. Another one that I always look for is the 560s because those are discontinued. And whenever I've sold 560s, they've gone real quick. So that's from the bins. Now let me show you what I got from the second stop. I also forgot to show you, I grabbed this Magnite. It's a 12-inch flashlight from the bins. Probably like 12, 15 bucks, but I just might keep it. All right, so at the second stop, I got a few items. This first is a corduroy bag. It's got embroidered with dogs on it. Leather handle by L.L. Bean. And there's comps of about $20 range. And this was marked five. Now, altogether, I spent $27, 26 change. And the lady always gives me the senior citizen discount for today, which is 33%. So for these first few items, 
it came out to six dollars and fifty cents minus two fifteen discount. Now I don't know how it came out to six fifty because this bag was marked five. Their belt. I always look for belts. If it has a good buckle and it's a crappy belt, just take the buckle off and sell it. Or I always look for like embossed or western belts. And this is a good western belt. Real leather, nice pattern, brand as well, so it has a name attached to it. Resist all, genuine leather. So this is a good one. Doesn't have much of a fancy buckle on it, kind of a plain buckle, but this is a good western belt. And all belts are supposed to be one dollar. I grabbed this box of Lynn Chase coasters. If you don't know of Lynn Chase, see if you can just see that. I looked these up and there's a few listed in the 40s and soul comps. I didn't find this exact one with the butterflies, but you know I'm gonna list it probably for like in the 30s. And you see it was one dollar. Got a helicopter coming. Alright, now that that's gone. Then I was looking through the clothing. Izod. Swing flex, brand new with tag, Izod shorts. And all shorts are two dollars. So with the tag. And these come for about 20 bucks or so. So technically that's two, seven, eight, that should be like nine dollars before my discount. She charged 650 and then a discount. So she undercharged me, I ain't complaining. I also grabbed this for one dollar. I showed this in the video. Steel libido. It says steel libido for women. It supports healthy sexual vitality and pleasure. So, either way, I comped it, and they got comps, again, near $20, and it was a dollar. And the last thing I picked up, there's three of them, I know I showed it when I was in this store, these motion sensor soap dispensers, brand new, $10 each, and after the discount, it was like a $9 and change discount off the three. I'll figure it's gonna be like $7 each, and I think the comps, from what I remember, were like around $40 range. So that's going to wrap it up for today. The bins at one local thrift, all within a few miles of my house, so quick and easy. Um, and both together I spent about 30 bucks, and I don't know totals or approximate sales, but it's definitely a few hundred dollars. So it was a good day for me. So if you're new here, I appreciate you subscribing and watching my video. Please check out my other ones. If you have any questions, please put them down below in any of my videos. I try to reply to everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.